Hi everybody. Uh, today, today video is gonna be uh, about uh, GameCube Portable. Six months ago, I started work on a design and idea to build GameCube uh, Portable. But the thing is, with my uh, limited skills to build a portable, actually, GameCube is my second uh, handheld. First was uh, Sega Genesis. I built it like five months ago. Or so, uh, anyway, when I start building. Here is a full-size uh, motherboard, non-trim it. And first thing I thought I was going to try trim it, but then uh, I recognized it, like I said, I never done it before and I don't want to. Well, actually, I tried for uh, on the first motherboard, I did ruin it. Then I, I decided, well, I'm going to stick with full-size motherboard. And I I started working with case, it's a AG85. And actually, it, it will fit. I mean, just slightly trimming the uh, uh, border, it, it, it will fit, no problem. But then I recognize it, and, well, I I, I'd like to use it in the more uh, original part as possible, like motherboard, controller, you know, and I know it will, I mean, I, I did recognize that it will be bulky, especially with AG85. I mean, if you put it motherboard in, then original uh, joysticks and analog sticks and buttons will, will not fit. Plus, you need to pay for LCD screen and you need to pay for battery. I mean, here you can see already mark a market where the screen will be. Um, in that case, I was planning using a 4.8 screen. Uh, I believe it's a 480 by 270 uh, resolution. Pretty much, I did I did abandon it to use it uh, using AG85. Uh, then I found it another one, which actually I thought it's gonna be pretty cool. It's I believe it's an old router, also, and motherboard will fit no problem. And uh, I already glued it a post which is gonna hold it uh, motherboard. I tied a hole for a cooling fan. I did install the cooling fan with uh, with protection guard, and it has a really nice grip. But then I decided instead of using a 4.8 screen Optimatrix, I decided to go with 5.0, which is much higher resolution, it's a, the 640 by 480. Yeah. And then I end up uh, with the same issue. If I use a 5-inch screen, plus uh, not much room to fit original uh, buttons and uh, analog sticks. And using a momentary Crap. using a momentary switch uh, like, like I got over here one thing I don't like is it, it, it clicks like hell you know and I mean a lot of people using those momentary switches for uh, uh, handheld but I mean in my mind I think it's uh, yeah it's easy to use but it, it doesn't do uh, original feel you know when, when you're playing games anyway it, actually that case probably I'm gonna use it for, for something else maybe I'm gonna build another one GameCube with a trim board. I mean, I'd like to try that idea. And uh, basically, uh, like I said, uh, I started the project, I believe, in early January or so. Six months later, let me show you. I know, I mean, you guys might think it's bulky and probably it doesn't look too impressive, but you have to see it. It's my first GameCube portable and uh, Actually, that's how it looks uh, uh, on top. I mean, three buttons is to control it. Uh, LCD screen, original GameCube. Actually, that's not original. That's a mini, I believe, the mini GameCube uh, joystick used to be. Yeah. Controller. Let, let me show you closer how it looks. Uh, that's a SD Geico. Uh, here's a headphone uh, jack, ventilation holes, and uh, power jack. Let me see. Here, pretty much uh, analog, uh, D uh, pad, C analog, and A, B, X, Y. That's the start. And uh, I mean, the start is from uh, from uh, Nintendo 64. And uh, here's the volume control. The volume control actually I did pretty good, I think. Uh, volume control knob. It, uh, and it's, it's, it's really in a right right spot, you know, to uh, adjust. From from top, uh, the power supply, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, power uh, switch on and off, ventilation holes also, 
that that also works like a ventilation hole. It's a uh, VT Fusion SD. I mean, sorry, two D type of it. And reset button. VT Fusion did flash it with a uh, switch. And also one thing is pretty cool. Anytime when I need it uh, to service it, uh, my system, for example, if uh, battery did go bad or, or something, I have to open it. Here's a two tiny screws. You screw them out and you just raise it uh, I mean right I mean uh, you can open it really easy because it has a hinges yeah, yeah. and pretty much it's, it's it's so easy to open it and easy to service it on the, on the back side original trigger uh, Z button from uh, Nintendo 64 actually I, I, I did I did have to modify it a little bit and uh, to make sure it will fit properly also, same cooling fan as in the first case with uh, with uh, protection guard. I call protection guard, protection screen, whatever it is. Of course, the hose is bigger. I mean, you can still stick it your finger. I mean, if you if you if you done enough. But I mean, the fan spins so slow. It's not going to hurt anything. And let me show you how. I mean, why I did use it that case? I mean, it did expire. I mean. Uh, uh, when I got my first uh, Sega Nomad back in uh, 95, I I get, uh, I mean, here's a Nomad, original Nomad. When you hold and you see, I mean, you, uh, the design of sh uh, case, some people saying the Nomad was looking, looks really weird because, I mean, uh, the shape of case is not really, I mean, uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, let's go. I mean, it, 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 it was a really weird shape case, but that oval shape, I was really enjoyed, I mean, to hold them, and to hold it, and that's why, I mean, my, my system, it has, on the both sides, has the round ones, uh, I mean, analog, I did, I mean, uh, fit it, I mean, in my opinion, actually, it's really nice, and same thing, if you look at how uh, joystick sockets feel, fit. They fit, I mean, it, I did fit it identical space gap, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I know, for, for sure, actually it's my second uh, portable ever, I, I mean, it's, it's quite good, I think. Okay, let me power it, and you will see. It's a 5.0 five, five screen, active matrix, uh, 640 by 4, 480, uh, let me... Like I said, I mean switch button, I mean uh, not switch, uh, reset button, because it, uh, it fl uh, I did flush it with a uh, switch, you just push it in and will reset to uh, GameCube, uh, main menu, whatever it's called, uh, with all games. And loads pretty quick actually, uh, I mean I really like it, uh, uh, how it works, I mean, for example. Mario Kart. I mean, it looks really nice. The volume, I mean, actually, thickness is pretty good. Okay. I mean, for some small hands like that, it's pretty nice. Thickness actually right here is uh, uh, from PSP 100. Uh, I mean, sorry, PSP 1000. Two speakers. Uh, And that volume knob is not is not in the way, you know, you're not gonna move it by accident in case. And I mean that screen 5.0, I mean especially with that really, uh, I think it's pretty high resolution for the size. I mean it's really nice. I mean it. I didn't uh, I didn't install it. I know I didn't put it a uh, video out connector. There's no video out yet. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in. Because with 5 inch screen, I mean, you not really need to plug it to a bigger screen. And there's also no uh, second player uh, connect, I mean, uh, socket. I didn't edit that either. I mean, I didn't edit. It's running on a 4 cell lithium ion, 14.4 uh, volts, which actually the battery, it's a used battery. I, I bought on a eBay a long time ago. It's a 2100 milliamp. It doesn't last too long. It's running probably around an hour, 20, hour, 30 or so. I mean, eventually probably gonna replace it or 
Proper is gonna take it out battery and use it without battery and because I mean uh, run uh, uh, battery like I said run, uh, can last probably hours when you're so and then charging that battery I'm using my active charger it takes probably two and a half hours two two and a half to three hours which is not really impressive uh, or if, if I find it more powerful battery uh, I mean I, I, I'm gonna uh, put it or if I if I find it some different power supplies or whatever it is, I mean, converted to make running a GameCube from 7.4 volts, then pretty much instead of using uh, 14, 14.4, uh, uh, I can use the, I mean, 14.8, I can use the 7.4 volts, just double it for amperage, it will last probably three, uh, three to three and a half, three some, I mean, three plus hours. Okay, now I'd like to show you just for comparison. Uh, Sega Nomad and my GameCube. I mean, you can see, I mean, uh, Nomad is shorter a little bit. Of course, it's uh, much neural. And uh, the thickness wise, because the Nomad has a battery pack in, on the back and my GameCube doesn't, I mean, GameCube, my, my GameCube is a little bit uh, thinner. But the main uh, things when I, when of course when I design it when I start work on the idea to build it uh, GameCube portable and I see a lot of guys build it I mean they actually never put it on scale uh, to show how heavy it is and of course you have to understand it's a home built unit with a uh, heavy battery which lithium island is not that heavy but still I mean it, it will it, it will it will be heavy unit okay is a nomad with battery pack and one game installed. Let's see, it's a 667. Actually, jumping back and forth. Uh, let's see if my graphic camera can pick it up. I really hate that camera. Yeah. I did have a, a better one, but it did crap out on me. Anyway, okay. it's too bad. I'm not can focus it. It's, uh, well, if you guys can, can, you can trust me. It's a 666. Uh, 666 uh, grams, which actually is not so bad. My GameCube, of course, is going to be a little bit heavier. Yeah. It's uh, 791 uh, grams. I believe it's around, what, uh, it's going to make around 125 grams different. And of course, I mean, well, like I said, it will be uh, heavier, but that's that's like total different animal. I mean, let me power it, uh, my Nomad. And I mean, actually, uh, well, the Nomad, uh, the cartridge is dirty. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different uh, size and weight, but I mean, Game <laughs> GameCube is. It's, I mean, it's way, way, well, it's, like I said, it's, uh, you, you not can compare it GameCube with uh, Sega Genesis because I still love, I love my uh, Sega Genesis. I got probably close to 100 games or so. And uh, uh, once in a while I, I, I pop that uh, Nomad or my home build uh, Genesis and I really enjoy games. But how it turns that uh, GameCube, to be honest, I really, I mean, I'm quite surprised. I, it did, it did turn better than, uh, than I was expected or better than I actually was playing. But, uh, Wikifusion connected, it was a little bit uh, tricky. I mean, I did burn it, uh, I believe, two motherboards and one Wikifusion. Uh, those tutorials, what I found it on the internet, I mean, some uh, uh, they sound a little bit confusing. And then I found it another one, which uh, it explains step by step how to do that, and it was straightforward okay guys well I hope you, you, you you're gonna like it what uh, what uh, what I built <laughs> and I mean if you have comments and uh, concerns uh, any ideas just leave it coming and I will appreciate it. thank you so much and have a great day bye bye